welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my go-to makeup look. This is what I like to do pretty much whenever I want to put makeup on or wear makeup and just, you know, really look a little bit more put together. Um, this is what I do. It's really quick and easy to do. Usually can do this within 10 minutes-ish, um, but lately I it's been doubling that time just because I have carpal tunnel, which is why I'm wearing this wrist brace in this video, in case you're wondering. Um, yeah, so I always kind of have to stop and take a break because my hands do get numb, which is so sucky, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. So anyways, yeah, it usually takes me about 10 minutes to do this makeup look. It's super easy and simple. It'll give you that natural glowy look. And also, I've been wearing this for months and months. Pretty much ever since I've gotten pregnant, I've like, you know, narrowed down all of these items um, and I've just been using the same things. Um, but I can tell you that this will last you from morning till super late at night, 12 hours, it'll look good, I promise. You don't have to touch up. Like I've worn this for like so long now and it's just definitely you have been my go-to. So anyways, if you want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. I really hope that you guys like it and enjoy the video and without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Hi right, guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply my face moisturizer and this is what I have been loving. Like I have this in like a tub like this, but this is like almost gone. I use this one at nighttime just to like really finish it up, um, but I purchased this recently because it's getting really, really hard to get stuff out of that. Um, anyways, it's the Dior Hydra Life Deep Hydration Sorbet Water Essence love this product I will definitely keep repurchasing it so I just apply it all over my face because my skin has been I mean it's still combination but it's more on the drier side ever since I've gotten pregnant so this stuff just really keeps me moisturized and my skin just loves it and it feels so nice and like it's cooling too which is awesome and if you're wondering what is on my wrist this is my beautiful wrist brace that I have to wear all the time because I now have carpal tunnel because of pregnancy which sucks because I've been doing this makeup routine for I don't even know ever since I've gotten pregnant pretty much I've like narrowed it down um, by the way this is a Dior Cooling Hydration Sorbet Eye Gel, so it's from the same line, which is the Hydra Life. Um, it's just for your eyes, but yeah, ever since, you know, I've gotten pregnant, I've been doing pretty much the same steps, and this usually takes me like 10 minutes or less, depending, um, if I really want to look put together, but usually 10 minutes is enough, but now... It takes me almost 20, like double the time, just because I have to keep stopping because my hands, they just start to get numb and it's not fun. So, anyways, my right hand is worse than my left hand, so I do wear a, br so I wear a brace on my right hand. Um, anyways, once that's all done, I do use a face primer. This is from... Wet and Wild, the photo focus one. Apparently, this is the same as the white version from way before. Um, it's just repackaged, but I don't know. I mean, I've been using it and it works, so whatever. Anyways, I just mainly apply this on the center part of my face where I tend to get oily. It just smooths everything out and I mean, I think it keeps me mad. I don't know. I like how my fun or concealers and powders and all that looks on top of it also. So, I like it. And I believe it was only $4. So, you can't really go wrong with that. Next, I go in with my concealer. 
If you have been following me, then you know that I love this concealer. It's from Flower Beauty. It's the Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. And I have it in the color Medium Honey. Um, and I just mainly apply this on here, like the center part of my face, right underneath my eyes. I feel like I put too much on. And then on my nose, and on my chin, around the mouth, and like up here. And then whatever is left over, I like to apply it here on the sides of my face. Because I feel like it's dark there, and I like to lighten that up. Okay, and then I take my Artiste palm brush and just blend this all in. So this is it after the concealer, as you can see. It just does a good job evening out my complexion. And I just, I love it, you guys. Like, I think it's so good. And there you go. Now I'm going to go in with my it cosmetics celebration foundation this is a powder foundation and i just love it i'm in the color tan it just looks like this and it actually comes with a sponge underneath which i don't use oh and it fell um i usually just use a brush to apply this i use the laura mercier powder brush like this one it looks like a powder brush very similar to the elf complexion brush actually which I used the elf one for bronzer but this one foundation and I just load up the brush on one side and I pat this on and I just think it makes my skin look so good and flawless and it really does a good job on setting the concealer and it lasts all day long, you guys. Like, this entire look, I can wear from, like, super early in the morning until really late at night. Like, all day with no touch-ups. It's very good. So, I highly recommend. <laughs> but, like, look at that. I just... I love how it makes my skin look. I feel like... My skin doesn't look powdery. It just looks very nice and natural and healthy. That's what I love about it. It doesn't look cakey or anything either. So I really love this. It's definitely something I will be repurchasing. What do you guys think? I think it looks so good so far. And then I do like to take this guy. This is the Essence Brighten Up. I got this like not that long ago. It's the banana powder one. And I've just been using it constantly because I do use, what is it called? The Medium Honey in the concealer, which is darker. Like I actually like to use a shade lighter than that for my under eye, but I don't like having to use like two different kinds of concealers. I just feel like it's another step. Um, for my under eye, but instead of using a lighter concealer just for my under eye, I just apply this powder and it instantly kind of brightens it up and I feel like it looks natural and just lighter. I don't know. I like it. I think it looks good. It doesn't look powdery either. Like, I really like this brightening powder. And I just kind of apply it over else in the center part of my face like that. But mainly focusing it on my under eye. So for my brows, I like to use this guy from Maybelline. It's the Total Temptation Brow Definer. Very, very good. I think I talked about this before, but I really like it. I'm in the color soft brown but i can definitely go a bit darker than this but i guess to fill in my brows ever so lightly just in the areas where i need you know some fillage is that even a word i don't know but i just like to fill it in lightly because my brows have been growing pretty good so pretty happy about that i just need to kind of lightly fill them in now like, I don't really like 
to shape it, I guess, if you... Like, you know, like, really draw it in. Like, I don't really like to do that anymore. So I just, like, lightly fill it in and just sparse areas. Ta-da! <laughs> it makes such a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well. Alright, next I like to do my bronzer and I love these two bronzers right here. I was using this one from Hourglass for months and months. It's the Luminous Bronze Light. It looks like that. But recently I got this and I've been using this one. <laughs> this is the one from Laura Mercier. It's the Matte Bronzing Powder Soleil Number no. 1. This looks like this. So this one has no shimmer whatsoever. And this is the one I've just been using lately. I mean... I go back and forth between this and the hourglass one and they're both like my favorite right now so yeah but this one is matte but it still looks really good on the skin so I just apply it there to bronze up my cheeks and also kind of give me a little bit of contour and this smells pretty good. It's like coconutty. I don't know. Like sometimes I hate the smell, but right now I'm liking it. But yeah, it has a coconut smell. I'm gonna go ahead and take the hourglass actually and just add a little bit here. Just because this kind of gives you that nice glow. Looks pretty. Okay, I'm gonna contour my nose. I guess I like to take a fluffy blending brush and same bronzer from Laura Mercier since this is matte I can use it on my nose and I just like to slightly contour I start right here all the time and kind of bring it up to the brows and then just go down the sides of my nose just to make my nose look a little bit slimmer because I do have a big nose like a big flat nose, like the Filipino nose. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and just apply some mascara primer because I do like my mascara primer to completely dry before I apply my actual mascara. I feel like it makes such a big difference. So curling my lashes and my mascara primer is this guy from Givenchy. I think this is my second tube. I started using this last year and I just love it. I've been hooked. And yeah, this is my second tube of the Base Mascara Perfecto. It's such a good mascara primer. It has fibers in it, so it really um, helps to make your lashes long and full. And I just, I just really like it. it. It separates my lashes, doesn't clump them up. Um, I've tried, I forget which one I tried, but I tried a mascara primer before and I found that like even though it gave me length, it gave me too much volume where it looks too clumpy and oh, I got it on my nose. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply my blush while that dries. This is the blush I've been using. It's Dim Infusion by Hourglass. I really like it because it is very natural. It's just like a nice corally blush and it goes with any look and it's just very natural. And it gives you like that glow from within look also. I love ambient lighting powders or Hourglass products really. They're all kind of give you that glow from within look. Okay, and then this is the um, highlighter I've been using. Look how tiny this is. This is from NARS. It's the Fort de France. And I just love it. It's a beautiful kind of like golden highlight. And it just looks so pretty. Like, do you see that? It's so pretty. So I go actually back and forth with this one or the NARS Orgasm. Um, the loose highlight i believe is what it is that one is so pretty on the skin too especially if you're really tan oh that one looks so beautiful but i've been really liking this and this is the one that's in my makeup bag right now because it's so tiny and i'm like that's perfect for on the go so anyways um i am gonna apply a little bit of bronzer on my crease just so there's a little bit of dimension there and i'm using the same brush that i contoured my nose with and the same bronzer 
and I'm just applying it on the crease and then I'm just gonna take a smaller brush like this one and apply that on my lower lash line I don't know about you guys but I cannot not have anything on my lower lash line like I have to have something there or else I feel naked even though you can't even really see this because it's all just like it's just a bronzer <laughs> Anyways, oof, my hands are getting numb again. Oh my goodness, you guys. And I'm getting hungry and just uncomfortable at the same time. <sighs> Pregnant life. Um, by the way, for those wondering, I am 37 weeks today. Oof, we are full term officially. Okay, so anyways, this is the <laughs> mascara I'm using. It's also from Givenchy. It's the Noir Couture Mascara. I love this mascara. Um, the brush is really cool and it just like grabs everything. Look at that. It grabs everything and it doesn't make my lashes look clumpy or anything like that. Absolutely love it. So I'm just going to do a coat of this on both eye. I'm not sure if you guys can see the difference, but I just, I just love this mascara. I totally forgot to do this. I usually like to do this before I apply my mascara, but I like to take a dark brown eye pencil and just tight line. So my top waterline, and I know some people hate this because it looks weird or it looks painful, but I'm fine, I swear. <laughs> so I do that, and then I like to do just the outer part of the lower. I'm going to apply a little bit of highlight on my cupid's bow. Pretty much whatever is left on my brush should be okay. So you can see right there. <laughs> a little bit of chapstick because my lips are always dry. And I love this from Dior. It's the what are these called? I always forget now. The lip glow from Dior. And my lips always get dry in the center. So that's where I mainly like to apply that. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, this is amazing. It's from Lancome. These new guys, I have two here. Or I thought I did. Oh no, here it is. These are my two favorites right now. Um, they have other colors as well, but these are the two that I kind of use on a daily because they're nudes. Um, but these are the Lee Absolute Lacquers from Lancome. They're so good. They're really good lip glosses. So actually, I'm going to use this one. This is a little bit darker in the color 236. And it just feels so good on your lips. Like, do you even see that? You can't even see that. Because it's so natural and it's like, it's like a liquid lipstick, but not because it's a little bit more watery and it's not as, it's not as pigmented, if that makes sense. It just kind of gives your lips like a little bit of a tint. It's really pretty. Okay, and to set everything, I just used this guy. This is from What & Wild. It's the Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. Um, I've gone through so many of these. I don't even know how many now, but I just love it. And it's super cheap, and it does the job. So I just kind of shake it up a little bit. And then just spray it. And I love it for, like, what, $4? It does the job. So that is it, you guys. This is the finished look. I really hope that you guys like it. Again, this is what I've been doing for months and months now. It's been my go-to. It's just super easy and simple. It looks natural and glowy, um, but still kind of matte. You know, something that will keep you matte, but you're, you're not like flat. You know what I mean? Like, it's very natural. And then you have the glowy parts where it should be you know what i mean so anyways 
I hope you guys like it. Like usual, I will have everything that I used listed in the info box down below, along with what brushes I used to apply the products. I know a lot of you always ask me what brushes I use in my videos, and I don't know why, but it just always goes over my head and I totally forget to mention it in videos. So I will start listing them down below in the description box in the description box from now on. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Also, subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you here again. So again, thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye.